in this quick video I want to show how can we randomize our objects with a copy to point node and also how can we kind of control how many copies we get from each one of these objects so it's pretty simple what I will do is copy to point node and now what we will do is create an attribute for all of these the same attribute only with a different number on it so what you can do is either we can create attribute attribute create node or wrangle node so with this time you just create attribute create node pipe inside here what I'll do is just a simple integer number and the value for this one is going to be let's put it zero so point integer and let's call it my number now all we have to do is copy this to a tree and connect them here and just change the number on it so this was 0, this is going to be our 1 and 2. Now all we have to do is now just select all of them and merge them together. You can see this turns black, all we have to do is put down a normal node, like that. And now if you take a look at the, if you take a look at the spreadsheet, you can see that our, we have our points at the, which was a, so this was a, this was a point class, so in our points, there are our, my number, so basically every geometry has its own unique number that we can reference inside our copy to point node, so now just connect to, to the geometry to copy, let's put, create a grid, let's make it maybe a little bigger, So first, when you connect it, then you okay, just wait with. You can see it copies all of them at the same time. First thing to do is turn on pack and instance. This is gonna make our copying so much faster. So all we have to do is now create the same attribute in here. So now we have other. I just copied it, and I slash left is in here. And all we have to do is randomize it. So put down a attribute randomizer. And here in the distribution, we'll have to put, pick is custom discrete. And now you see it's gonna there's a couple of sliders that you can add or delete. So you know we have three objects, so delete this one. And all we have to do is in these values connect our is set it to the values that we have in here. So we know we have zero, one, and two. So now we have zero put on to the 1 and 2 like that and also attribute name we have to make it to the my number we enter on my add my number attributes so like that and now all we have to do is in a piece attribute we have to put down the same my number attribute like that you can see now we are randomizing it based off of our attributes what's cool about this is that you can actually control how many copies that we get so first of all there are global seed but there's also a weight on it so let's say you want to less weapons and we know that our weapon is a tree so what you can do is it's weight put down its weight to the smaller you can see we're getting very little amount of weapons so if the weight is bigger they're gonna get more of them like that so this is how we can control kind of how many random objects we are getting. I haven't really seen any tutorial of this one, so I thought it might be useful for us to just put it out, so it's a very basic thing we can do, like that. Also one thing I wanted to note that always turn on the instancing, like I'm gonna show why. So let's say I turn it on, so you see it's basically the same thing, but if I go to the randomization and change the weight you see it's actually pretty laggy I'm pressing now and it's, it's, it takes a long time before it copies it but I turn on the instancing you see it's instant it's very fast it's basically not copying the whole geometry to the points just instancing of it so that's the one trick to do to know that's always turn on the when you have heavy scenes back in an instance so 
that's it for this tutorial. I'll see you next time.